Welcome back to Wargaming World. So France, 1944, and a game of Chain of Command. So, we are D-Day plus five, and uh, we've got uh, an opportunity for the Americans to be advancing across this, uh, this area. And uh, to do so, they're starting off at this bridge. And we're going to have a game which is uh, slightly unusual because you're going to know what uh, the Americans have and their objectives, but I'm not going to tell you anything about the Germans. So what's the mission? Well, the Americans were uh, just looking to advance across this, uh, this bridge and to advance down uh, this road. However, the advancing uh, scout car has identified that there is a roadblock but it seems a little unusual because the roadblock is then giving a gap and an opportunity for the Americans to just be drawn into this field and perhaps to advance through that gap at the end there. So, looks a little too easy. As a result, and with uh, a French farmer looking on, they've uh, called up a half-track and uh, a uh, squad is going to... Uh, get out and investigate the rest of this road and to see what uh, the situation is. The objective of this game is very simple, is to advance two vehicles off the board through the gap in that field, or alternatively, if the Germans arrive, is to engage and to uh, get them to uh, withdraw from this village on the right hand side. Uh, we already know on the left hand side that this building is uh, unoccupied by uh, the Germans so everything's going to be from uh, the right hand side but as I say we don't know how many Germans there are, where they are and indeed where their jump off points are. Now I uh, haven't told you anything about the Germans, but I can tell you about the Americans. A standard platoon is uh, advancing. So we've got uh, three sections, eight, uh, eight rifles with uh, a bar team. Also got uh, a decent anti-tank gun. We've got uh, a Sherman. We have uh, a bazooka team, and uh, we've then got uh, two seniors at the top there. And uh, also uh, we've also seen uh, that we have the Greyhound and uh, the half track. It's an unarmoured half track, and uh, that is our American force. Now we need to start with the American morale. And we've got a five there, so it's a morale of ten. Turn one. And there's the Americans. So we've got uh, one for the chain of command. We just did six, and a one, two, three. Okay, with the three, I've uh, brought out the anti-tank gun. The junior leader has put them on overwatch. Uh, with the two, the uh, unit has uh, dismounted from the uh, half-track, and with the one, I've brought in a bazooka team. And while you watch on to uh, the Americans, I'll roll for the Germans. Hmm, interesting. You phase over to the Americans. You got there. One, two, three, four. Quite a lot of activity, so with a three, um, I brought on uh, this uh, unit, another unit with its uh, junior leader, and uh, we've got the uh, team uh, here, the bar team, is on Overwatch. With the four, I brought on a senior leader, ordering this unit to move, and also ordering a scout team that moved, which is slightly uh, ahead of the others, and with the three, we've got the... Um, uh, Greyhound. Uh, the Greyhound has uh, advanced, not very far, but into this particular gap, and to see whether we get a reaction from the Germans. To see what that uh, German uh, role is. Uh, oh, right. Phase three, over to the Americans, and we've got uh, uh, two twos, two ones, and a four. Right, so with a four, the senior leader has ordered a scout team to advance, and we've also ordered the uh, bazooka team to advance towards that building. Uh, with a two, the uh, units moved uh, further on up the road. Uh, with a one, uh, the scout team at the front there has got all the way towards the uh, roadblock to investigate it. And with a three, the um, uh, Greyhound 
has uh, advanced and is on Overwatch over to the Germans. Obviously got a lot of uh, Americans deployed and we get some kind of reaction from the Germans. Okay, so uh, completed the uh, German activity. What have we got here for the Americans? We've got the first five, so uh, one for the chain of command dice and then we've got three threes. Three threes, I mean the junior leader has ordered this unit to move forward and uh, ordered the uh, scout team to continue so you can see that the two men there are getting at the front of that building whereas the main unit is uh, is here that's also a bazooka team there it hasn't moved in this uh, this phase and similarly over uh, over here this unit uh, moved forward about six inches and the junior leader ordered the uh, uh, the movement of the scout team uh, back in with this unit so that's the end of that uh, phase with one exception the other three it means that uh, the Sherman has arrived and uh, that's the Americans for this phase now as before as you uh, look on to uh, the American advance and to uh, see what's happening for the Germans right well we're back to the Americans I have to say it was a fantastic role uh, for the Germans uh, other than the fact that there is a factor I'm playing in this particular game which I'll uh, explain to you at the end of the game which is an influence about why we haven't seen a great deal of German activity but uh, never mind uh, we'll go to the Americans and uh, good roll again there so we've got uh, uh, one, two twos, a three and a four right well remembering that the objective of the game is to move off the board in that direction, back of that field. Uh, the reason, uh, or the strategy here then, is with a three, the Sherman's going to advance, as is the half track in front of it. The senior leader, we've got a four, we're going to advance uh, with that unit uh, there, get to move forward. And if the roll is good enough, order the uh, scout team into the building, make sure I've got nobody in there. And with the two at the back, we will advance with the infantry across the field. And at the end of that phase, the uh, Americans just continue to advance, uh, going down that uh, that road into this field. It's been uh, occupied by the infantry now, and here this particular building, and the scout team have gone into it. There's nobody there, so uh, that's empty. This unit has moved with it, so uh, that's the end of that phase, and over to the Germans. No, that's more like it. Just need to record that it's a double phase. And uh, that's exactly what was needed. Right, so what I've rolled here is uh, I had uh, two fives for the Germans, and then originally I, I rolled two more. And then on the what was a double phase, I've uh, rolled two more and uh, what that allows uh, to happen in this game and now i can declare it is that by using one chain of command dice i can deploy in this area uh, if the game continued any longer i.e for the americans to begin to uh, get off the uh, the board i would have had to have brought the germans on from over this side which was my uh, original suggestion however by using a chain of command dice i'm going to occupy this building. So uh, I'm playing this solo and so it was uncertain for myself depending on how uh, the Americans were advancing uh, but as it is I'm going to fire a, a Panzerfaust at the Sherman outside one of the windows and uh, also I've got a, a senior leader so we're going to get the rest of the units. So we've got an MG42 and some rifles firing on those advancing Americans going towards that building over there. So let's start with the uh, Panzerfaust, and uh, that's a six. Right, uh, hitting against the side, when is it four fives and sixes for the Germans, it's going to be the blue dice. Uh, it's armour of six against eleven, so we need fives and sixes with the green dice, four fives and sixes with the blue. And in fact that's ended in a net zero. See if there's any consequence of that. Four. And the consequence is with a four is the tank will halt 
and will return fire uh, in the next phase, I should say. I've got an MG42 uh, with 10 dice uh, needing fours. That looks like a lot. And I think it's seven hits. There are actually three teams over here. So we're going to have the bazooka team, it's a silver dice. The bar team is green, blue is the rifles. Well, I'm going to say soft cover, but even so, uh, we're looking at uh, two killed. Uh, one from the bazooka team, one from the bar team, and one shot to the rifle. But let's see whether it's a leader. Is it the leader? Yes, it is. Uh, junior, one, two, three. No, it's a senior. What happens to him? He takes a wound. It's a bad thing. So one, I think, is a minus one. So I need to work out whether it was the bar or bazooka. One, two, three, bazooka. No, uh, the casualty is the bar, so uh, the bazooka team is uh, okay. Still got half a dozen rifles, they're going to fire at the unit over there. Uh, I will put the figures actually in here. <laughs> I do have the figures, but I'll uh, put that in uh, over here. Uh, it's going to be uh, fives and sixes with six dice. Looks like uh, two hits. Green is the bar team. Uh, one killed in the rifles and a point of shock. Is it the leader? No, it's not. So over to the Americans and their reply. Yeah, so we have a three, so we've definitely got uh, firing from the uh, from the tank, but then we've got a, a one, two twos, and another three. Okay, we've got a three, so the Sherman's going to turn and return fire where the uh, Panzerfaust uh, was fired. Four fives and sixes. That looks like three hits. Now the uh, Fire was from the top window there, so uh, it's just a small team at the top, so I'm going to say it's just that team that's hit. And the outcome is that that, uh, that team, I suspect, is knocked out. Yes, yeah, it's one man uh, with a Panzerfaust who's killed. I'm going to say the junior leader is at a different level, so the junior leader was uh, with the remainder of the uh, unit. I know this looks a bit odd because <laughs> I haven't got... Um, uh, sort of like an upper deck, as it were. But uh, anyway, the uh, Panzerfaust is knocked out, so we need to roll and see whether uh, uh, bad thing happens with regards to a team knocked out. Three might be minus one. Yes, it is. So uh, the Germans are down to eight for morale. Well, the various activities. With the three, we fired the uh, Sherman and moved. Just in, that, in the distance, I used a two to move this unit uh, further forward. And uh, in here, the three had to go on a point of, off a point of shock. This unit moved. Some went into the building and some are still outside. With a one, I have turned around the anti-tank gun and that leaves us with a two. And the two is the final unit that I, uh, I have that I can bring onto the table for the Americans. They will go on to, uh, onto the table and will fire. Americans have nine rifles and a bar team, which is three dice. I'm going to split it across the machine gun team and the rifle team. Who knows how things ricochet, so uh, the rifles are firing out of the other window, but uh, I still think it can hit them. So uh, it's four, fives and sixes, re-rolling ones. Bar team. Firing, needing fours, so that's two hits. Two plus the slot. And uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one re-roll. Reroll to hit the total. We've got uh, hard cover for the Germans. Uh, the blue dice is going to be the uh, machine gun team, which is uh, one kill and one point of shock. The leader? No, it's not. Just as a reminder to myself, I've put these uh, figures outside with one point of shock. So it's actually four men remaining for the MG42 team. Right, over to the Germans. Right, lots of options there with a the four. Two ones and two twos. Right, well, with a four, the senior leader in there is ordering the six rifles to fire uh, again, repeating what they did before, is firing over at that far unit uh, over there, needing fives and sixes, although that unit now is in the open as it's moved. And uh, we're going to take off a point of shock, and for the MG42, is just going to fire at the uni right, unit right in front of it. So now ten dice, needing fours. And that looks like uh, only four hits. In the open. Green dice is the bar team. 
So two points of shock on the rifles, one on the bar team. Six rifles uh, needing fives. Two hits. Team getting hits. Two kills. Uh, it is. Leader. What happens to him? And uh, he's uh, knocked out. So we've got the junior leader down. Uh, that's a bad thing. Leader wounded on a five, I'm sure, is at least a minus one. Right, so um, it is a minus one, so the Americans are down to eight. Uh, the Greyhound is sitting there on Overwatch, but it's not firing uh, where this fire has come from, because I think the Overwatch uh, needs to be in that direction, in terms of its uh, angle, really. It's pointing at those two buildings. It's not coming from there, so therefore uh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing happens with that. Now with the one, I'm going to uh, take a Panzer Shrek this time, fire downstairs at that front window and fire at the Sherman. Four, I think is a miss. Not exactly that, a, um, a four is a miss. I do still have two twos and a one to use, however I, uh, I don't want to uh, deploy the Germans just to get them out. Uh, onto the tabletop. I know already, just having a look at uh, where I am now, the fact that I've missed uh, or been ineffectual with both of those shots against the Sherman. And I think the unit in there, we've also got a senior leader, we're going to take a lot of hits. And I suspect the morale is going to get down to around about four if we lose that. might be, it might cost the Americans that unit to uh, get rid of them in the, uh, in the building. But we're over to an American phase here and uh, therefore I'm going to deploy the other two German units uh, until I think is absolutely necessary. American phase. Oh, that's not ideal. Right, so three for the chain of command dice, which I think might take it all the way up to five. Wasted six and just a three. So the chain of command is only up to uh, four. I feel vindicated now for not uh, deploying other German units. And. Uh, question is what am I going to do uh, with the three? So the biggest uh, uh, danger I think is probably the Panzer Shrek uh, in the downstairs window. So I think what I could do is fire the junior leader here could order this unit to fire at it. I think I've got a couple of deductions due to shock. And then a second command could be for one of them to throw a smoke grenade in front of the window if we don't uh, have a, a successful roll. So let's start with uh, with that one. Which I think the better thing to do would be to order it first before rolling the dice, because I think it would be a spontaneous thing, wouldn't it? So let's say that uh, yes, I'm going to fire with the units, and then I'll throw one smoke grenade. Right, it's so actually 11 dice needing fours. So we can re-roll those two ones. And that gives the Americans five hits. Plus these two, nothing. Five, uh, hard cover, two points of shot, that's so all. The grenade, uh, needing fives. Ah, right, uh, that's terrible because that means I think he drops the grenade and I think the smoke grenade goes off in amongst the Americans. Right, so the smoke grenade goes off in amongst the American unit. Uh, they've blinded themselves effectively in front of uh, this building. It's the end of the turn. And uh, we're going back to uh, the Germans, and uh, that'll be another opportunity to uh, have a go this time with uh, this uh, Panzer Shrek. Okay, so two fives. We'll start a new chain of command dice. We've got a four, a three, and a one. The leader moves downstairs to get near enough to this unit, taking two points of shock off. And the one means the unit are going to fire at the Sherman. Hit this time. Oh, most definitely. And that looks like uh, uh, very much a uh, significant, uh, significant hit. Now, the Panzer Shrek actually gets three more dice now to this, so it normally has 13, which means it's 16 dice, needing a four, fives, and sixes. I'll have to roll this twice. Four, fives, and sixes. What have we got there? So I think we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. American armor needing fives and sixes. Uh, I think that's um, a difference of seven. 
Right, well it most definitely uh, is knocked out, but if you roll a 5 and 6 it'll explode, and if so, the only person who's going to be impacted by there is the senior leader standing next to it. Does it explode? No it doesn't. So the tank's uh, brewed up, so uh, it's a bad thing. It hasn't blown up, so we're just rolling one on the bad thing, and it's a 3, it's for a loss of a support unit, which I think is a minus 1. Yeah, it's a minus 1, so the Americans are down to 7. Now I've still got a three remaining, and uh, I could get the junior leader to order uh, the MG42 to fire on perhaps uh, the anti-tank gun. But what I'm going to say is, is that whilst the smoke is here, I'm going to say that the uh, view is obscured both for the uh, Americans and for the Germans to fire on them. So as a consequence, I'm going to take the junior leader who will... Uh, if I've got six riflemen firing out of these windows. I'm going to order them to fire. That's one command. Second command is to order the uh, machine gun uh, to move to the front window here. Uh, it can't fire, but that'll be uh, the order for that. So I'll fire with six rifles. Same target all the way through. Over there at the unit, which is out in the open. Fives and sixes. Uh, it looks like three hits in the open is the rifle team on its own and that's one man killed if it's the junior leader no it's not it's the americans and they could really do with an end of turn i think or uh, more uh, inspiration anyway right okay so we've got uh, a one two three and a four right with a four i brought on the last figure the senior leader He's going to order the bar team, which isn't, uh, which although it's obscured by the smoke, it's going to order it to move further up onto that uh, uh, bridge and take off a point of shock. He's also going to order a scout team to move up across that bridge. As a whole, that's where those two units have got to. And then with a one, I'm going to maneuver again this uh, anti-tank gun to get into a position where it can fire. You can't fire in this turn, but I'm satisfied that it's maneuvered in such a position that it can fire past the smoke, but it can also be shot at. With the uh, Greyhound I'm going to rotate uh, the uh, uh, the turret and then I'm going to fire at the units that have been moved that have been firing at it and then over here with the two I'm going to move uh, the unit uh, into some kind of soft cover. Movement uh, it's only uh, four inches. Yeah, I've only got four inches with the movement so it's almost in cover but not quite uh, but the Greyhound's going to fire. It's got a uh, Good gun on it, so uh, it's moved, firing back at the uh, window that had been firing at this infantry. Six dice, uh, needing fours. And that's uh, four hits. Rifle team is in blue, green for the machine gun team. Uh, four, five, shock, six to kill. And now we've got one killed in the rifles and two points of shock. Check if it's the junior leader. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, he's killed. That could be significant. Okay, so uh, junior leader killed. That's uh, certainly a bad thing. Two, I think, is just a minus one. Okay, let's just pause for breath a little bit. Uh, so far in the game, then, uh, we've got the morale now on both sides. We're coming into a German phase, uh, seven each. We've got occupation of this uh, water mill here by uh, a German unit who's lost their, German, their junior leader. We do have a senior leader who's at the, uh, the bottom there, uh, along with a, a Panzer Schreck uh, on the other side. We've got uh, uh, an American unit uh, blinded a little bit by itself, but we do have a bar team and a scout team now manoeuvring with a senior team and uh, an anti-tank. Uh, gun there. Got a knocked out Sherman and then in the actual objective in the game which is for two units to move off uh, the the field at the back there we do still have two units so we could still uh, achieve that however we don't know where at least uh, a couple of other German units are and we're assuming that they're in somewhere in this area. So over to the Germans. German phase and lots of options, two twos, two threes and a four. One of the things I didn't do at the start is to talk about the jump off points for the Germans and the reason being is that the way I play the game is so that the uh, chain of command dice, I've got uh, six, I could deploy uh, 
the Germans anywhere here on the left hand side which I have done obviously in the water mill and uh, I do want to deploy the Germans and we've only got two with chain of command dice so it's not going to be on the left hand side so what I'm going to actually do is uh, I'm going to roll and uh, indicate where the potential uh, jump off points can be uh, so I don't have every every choice here otherwise it makes it uh, nigh on impossible for the Americans so logical jump off points are in the uh, in the garage here uh, second is in the building, the building nearest to us there, the shattered building. Third is in those hedges there, so uh, next to that tree. So I'm going to say one, two, it's next to the tree. Three, four, it's uh, that building. Five, six, it's this one, the garage. And with a four, that means it's in the building at the back there. With a four, the senior leader is going to uh, move upstairs. Going to order the uh, Panzer Shrek team to do the same. He gets they'll take off one point of shock off the machine gun team. And uh, with a two, the unit of the machine gun and the six rifles uh, will fire, and uh, they'll fire at the same target. Now in soft cover, over there. So the two have deployed a whole section here uh, next to uh, the jump off point in that building and uh, with one of the two threes I've brought on the uh, German support unit or support vehicle I should say. Firing with the MG42 nine dice uh, due to one point of shock and that's uh, one hit. Six rifles and leading fives. Poor shooting so in the end we've only got two hits. Bar team is green and killed. Is it the leader? No. I'm not going to use the other three for the Germans. I need to keep that in reserve. So in actual fact we're over to the Americans. And uh, two fives mean at the end of this we could end the turn, get rid of the uh, smoke on the unit that's by the bridge. That's an option. And we've got uh, a one and a four. I'd almost forgotten about this senior leader. So what we're going to do here is that he only has two commands, uh, but he's going to uh, order and indeed move with this unit, and he's going to order to move it along this road. So uh, 2d6, uh, less one inches, I think, for the movement for the shock. I'm remembering we're going out of that building too, but I'm still going to say uh, two inches in total two dice, I mean, rather than two inches, depending on how we roll, six inches. Sorry for that confusing description, but that's where the unit end uh, their move. Now I think I can continue to fire with this uh, this gun if I just use the gunner uh, for this with the one, so I think it will. So it'll fire again at its same target at the uh, troops firing from uh, the water mill. Six dice leading fours. Three uh, ah, now I can roll three ones again, but I've got one hit, and uh, that's two hits. MG team, uh, the green dice, four, five, shock, six to kill. Nothing happens. Right, I'm going to end the turn. So uh, that means uh, all, um, actually all Overwatch is off as well as uh, all smoke. So we're going to get rid of the smoke from this unit and uh, over to the Germans. Double phase for Germans. Uh, one and two twos. Okay, with the two twos, I'm going to make it into a four. I'm going to take off two points of shock and order the machine gun team to this front window. Uh, with the one, I'm going to get the Panzer Shrek into position by that window in order to take a fire, uh, take a take a shot, and take a fire, take a shot at that uh, Greyhound next turn if we roll a one. German second phase. And uh, yeah, plenty of uh, ones and twos. So uh, three ones, two twos. So at the various windows uh, at the front there, we've got the MG42 is going to fire directly onto the American unit underneath. This window, um, we're going to fire with this uh, Panzer Shrek, and I can still have three men firing out of the other window at the back there. Uh, the uh, Americans. 
with the three ones we'll put it into a three and I'm going to move uh, uh, our armoured car Panzer Shrek fires seven might well be a hit I'm just going to roll for the Panzer Shrek it's hitting this uh, in the side has very low armour and uh, no, it is a, a side hit, so it's four, fives, and sixes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Armor of four, fives, and sixes. Uh, no, so that's a five, so that's uh, knocked out. We just need to know whether it explodes. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's just simply knocked out. It is a bad thing, though. Uh, one might be just about a minus one. And yes, it's now brewed up, and uh, that's a minus one to morale. Americans down to six. MG42 needing fours, and we've got uh, four, five, six hits. I'm going to include the bar team. Uh, green dice of the bar team, they're all in the open. So, so we've got uh, two men killed, and quite a lot of uh, shock. Just need to test and see if it's the leader. No, it isn't. Finally, movement from the vehicle, it's eight on, it's on wheel, so it's, uh, it doubles up, so uh, 16 inches. There we finish. I feel like this needs to be a really big turn for, uh, for the Americans. Okay, one, two, three, four. Right, with the two, I'm going to get this unit to move over the uh, hedge line and get them out of uh, the firing line. With a one, I'm going to fire with this anti-tank gun at the window, and we're also going to uh, reduce shock and get some firing from these units uh, up at the same target. Start with the anti-tank. So we've got a high explosive of uh, five dice, needing fours, and uh, that means we've got four hits, all against the machine gun team at that window, and uh, we've got one kill, one point of shock. Only situation is, is it the senior leader? No, it's not. With the firing here again at the window, and uh, we have a total of eight dice, leading fours. Uh, blimey, that's uh, all of them with the exception of one, and that's a one, so I can re-roll it. That's a hit as well. Green is the machine gun team. So we've got one rifle killed, and we've got... And we're in hard cover, so it's only one point of shock. Actually, I had three teams because I had the Panzer Shrek team, so uh, one to three, it was one of the Panzer Shrek instead. No, it was the rifle. Just to check whether it was the leader. No. Unit going over the hedge, get rid of the lowest dice. Oh, so it's going to be three inches. German phase. Uh, end of turn. Uh, it's going to re repeat. Uh, Go. The Germans get another one for chairman of command, and then we just have a one. Well, with a one, I'm going to say that the Panzer Shrek's going to fire obscured fire at this vehicle. I actually don't know how many uh, times it can fire. I think it's fired three times so far. I'll say it's the last time. Whether that's uh, right or wrong, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to say one way or the other, it's uh, it's run out of ammunition. So I'm going to have a, a final go, and it's going to fire at this half track. Uh, 10. That's a hit, and I suspect toast. I'm going to roll this twice. It needs fives. That's three hits. Sunday, I think. Yeah, I think we're looking at something like five hits there. Not even sure what the armour uh, is of this one. I think it might well be two, but either way, uh, that's going to brew up. Does it explode? No, it doesn't. However, it is a bad thing. And four might be minus two. Right, at this stage, I'm going to call it a day. Um, the Americans are without armour. They've lost all three uh, uh, units, the uh, Greyhound, Sherman, and the Half-Track. I've got two uh, German units, which haven't even been uh, used yet. I've got a 2-2-2 two, two, two over on the uh, road there. And... Uh, I didn't realise it was going to be quite so difficult for uh, the Americans on this side. It certainly wasn't helped by the fact that uh, I managed to uh, drop a, a smoke grenade 
on themselves and as a consequence of that they were more or less uh, stuck in this position whilst a uh, unit just fired on from uh, uh, from the uh, from the water mill and so the Sherman uh, didn't manage to uh, knock uh, anything out and generally uh, I uh, this has been a, a struggle for the Americans uh, moving forward so I'm going to clear the table set it up again and go for another game Finally, just to say uh, thanks as always for uh, watching the videos and uh, appreciate uh, all uh, comments in terms of uh, YouTube or if you want to put uh, some points across uh, on the, uh, the Facebook group, Wargaming World Facebook group, then please do. And uh, we'll set up uh, a new game, another uh, game of, uh, of Chain of Command uh, very soon. Uh, thanks uh, once again for watching and we'll see you soon.